I'm all ready to do some feeding on my mantids. I've got my flies that I've just got out of the freezer. So I put them in for like five minutes and then they kind of just go to sleep. But as you can see over time they'll start waking up like this little guy. It makes it a lot easier to feed, feed the guys. I'm not having to worry about trying to catch flies and things like that. Um, so yeah he's definitely woken up now which is good Let's see if we can get a nice clip first guy up is the rock well, that's what I call him because he's a wide armed mantis um, Silnia humoralis that's it he's really pretty I love this guy he's like got stripy little legs like he's wearing stockings I think that's quite cool this fly is going mad you're not flying anywhere mate apart from into the jaws of death probably if this guy's hungry so let's pop the fly in let go come on no no you have to die let go I know but come on let's close that up stop him escaping and see if we can get a shot of uh, matey here taking him down what are you saying Are you hungry? Look at him, he thinks he's king of the castle. <laughs> but this guy is not the dirty rascal. Not by a long shot. I have gave him some water, just to moisten his palate, ready for his dinner. Um, I know a lot of people say to just spray around the mantis, but to be honest, I just give them a little spritz because at least I know then that they're getting their liquid intake. Obviously they don't like it, they do flinch a little, but I don't think it stresses them out that much. It's just It's just a fine mister. Um, it's this, which I use, which I just got off eBay or somewhere, I think, or Amazon. Um, but it's really handy, because it's just a little tiny mister and it's a really fine spray, so you're not using a water cannon equivalent on the little mantids come on fly move you're rubbing his hands together like he's planning something somebody's seen his dinner that fly looks drunk maybe he is drunk I did give them some honey does honey get you drunk if you're an insect so these wide-armed dudes, I don't know, it seems like they're more of a sit-and-wait kind of predator from the looks of things, rather than actively stalking. I've read that they're quite aggressive, um, but from what I've seen, this guy's really placid. You know, if I've got him out before, he just he's very chilled, so maybe that comes with age. When he reaches his difficult teenage years, starts getting non-Christian thoughts about girl mantids. Saying that, I'm trying to count his segments, and it might be a girl. It is hard to tell. Either way, he's certainly being patient, and you just know he's going to wait for that fly to go behind that pine cone so I can't see him strike. Let's try and get a better angle. I guess that's the problem with flies, it's hard to get a good shot of them because obviously I can't leave the lid open because as soon as he starts waking up more, he's just going to fly out. Okay, I didn't want to miss the shot, so I'm going to tweezer feed him. Do -do 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 -do. Here comes your dinner. Smashed it. Wow, for that is fresh as you like. Such a cool coloured mantis, this one. I like orange raptorial arms. Oh, what a way to go. At least eat the head first. Come on, poor guy. 
Next up, I have my Swadromantis gastrica, aka Speedy Boy, who isn't being a very speedy boy at the moment. He has just been chilling up there for a while. So I don't know if he's going to eat or not, but we'll give him a try. He might be prepping to molt, which I can check, but I think he's, I'm pretty sure he's, he didn't molt that long ago. But yeah, we'll see what he does. He's a good hunter, so I'm sure he'll take them if he wants them. Alrighty, let's get a couple of flies in here. Not so active these ones, but they'll wake up. Yep, this guy's feisty already. So this guy's always been a really good hunter. It's impressive how much of a reach they have when they strike. So I'm hoping we can capture that. Usually he'll start stalking once he catches sight of them when they start moving around a bit more. Okay, so we've got some interest now. He's definitely spotted them. It's quite fascinating how some of these mantids are such seasoned hunters, it seems, because they will wait and only move when the prey starts moving a little bit, almost as if they know that that's the best time to start kind of walking. He's not doing it now, but he might do it when he gets a bit closer. And I guess the reason behind that is just so when they're still, they're going to have better eyesight, I suppose, and might see him or her walking towards him. Whereas if they're moving, he kind of knows they're a little bit distracted, so that's the best time for him to move. And I'm hoping we'll get to see the reach on this strike because it's really impressive how far this guy will strike from. And there's two flies there, which one are you going to pick? And there we go, we can see there, the fly's moving so he moves quicker and then if it stops he will stop. Or he'll just smash it and eat it. Look at that, he's practically just laying down, chilling, eating that. Not a care in the world. Delicious eye fly eyeballs for breakfast. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, hello. Something made him jump. I think it was the fly behind him. <laughs> he was so shocked. What are you up to back there, Mr. Fly? Tickling his balls, are you? How are you still alive, fly? I think that's just a nerve. Nerves reacting and not you actually moving them. My camera battery's dying, so I'll have to turn it on as soon as he looks like he's going to strike the second one. Try and catch it. That second fly has chosen like the worst place to just chill out on. Literally anywhere in that enclosure would be better than a few centimetres away from a mantis. Oh, I don't know if I got that. I hope I did. Not the most elegant takedown, though. You kind of got it, didn't you, mate? I mean, it's good enough. Clearly. Next up, we've got the star of the show, the Milky Bar Kid, who's got the reactions of a samurai. And I'm hoping we can get him to catch these mid-flight, because it's so impressive when he does it. But it will depend on how active these little flies are. Some of them just tend to want to just crawl around rather than fly. But fingers crossed, if I leave it for long enough, they should warm up enough and start buzzing around and we'll get the chance to see him take one mid-flight, which would be awesome. 
I'm going to put a few in because get off. He does eat quite a lot, um, more than my other guys do. How's well, he's not looking too skinny, so maybe we'll just leave it at two for now. Uh, if you didn't know already, this is a uh, Dolor Mantis Diabolica, or Devil's Flower Mantis. He's being kept at a dry temperature, sorry, dry humidity, as low as I can get it. Uh, which is currently 38. I'd like to be able to get it lower, but I don't think I'm going to have much luck because the general air humidity in here is about 50. Um, it's obviously got a very ventilated tank, or as ventilated as I can get it without putting him in a net enclosure. But he's been doing really well. He's not had any problems. Um, yeah, happy with how he's developed. Molted fine every time, he's always eating, always active. And now we wait. So there is a few flies in here. The problem is because they, I put them in the freezer for five minutes or so, it slows them right down and they do become lethargic. So they tend to just kind of crawl around everywhere rather than buzzing about. But if we leave it long enough and they warm up enough, hopefully if they're kind of matured flies, they will start buzzing around and then we'll get to see a very impressive takedown hopefully. Here we go, that one's flying. No, fly, don't catch it on there. He's slowly edging. Go on. Oh, that's the first time I've ever seen a miss. These guys are normally surgical with their strikes. And oh, now he's pissed. Swing and a miss for the Milky Bar Kid. It's probably the tank makes it awkward, he can't... Oh! There we go. You're losing your touch, mate. There we go, a little dance celebration. Maybe Mantids can do a happy dance too. Oh, that fly is having a bad time. He's so happy with himself, look at him go. Show me your moves. You can see why the Devil's Flower Mantis is so heavily desired, because it's such a cool looking creature. I mean you can see on the inside of his arms the patterns he's got for his diamatic display. I don't know how you pronounce that, diamatic, diamatic? Which I've had him flash me a few times, but I don't want to prompt it and stress him out, but I'll try and get a video of that if I catch him doing it. Yeah, we'll leave him to it with that and then come back and see if I can get him catching the second fly when he's finished. Hey, so she didn't catch the last fly. I just left it in there. Uh, she probably picked it up at some point. After having another look into sex in these guys, it's actually really obvious when they're male and female. And this one is definitely a female. So from now on, Milky Bar Kid is a girl. But they're still going to stay Milky Bar Kid even though she looks a bit like a forbidden Dorito. But I hope you enjoyed the feeding video. I know there's only three in there and there's a lot more in the collection, but I didn't want to make it too long. I'll do more of them in the future, but thanks for watching.